Hello everyone and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. We are going to talk a little bit about Filmora Wondershare and how to record your desktop screen. Some people don't even realize that in this editing program you can actually use this program to record your desktop and then use those videos for editing later on. So other than just, you know, doing all the basic stuff with the media and the music and the text and the credits and all that cool stuff, you can record your screen. So what you want to do is come up here and go to record. In this record button you can do record from webcam or record from PC screen record voiceover so if you want to do a voiceover you can actually do that and record over your video and in, and put that over the top of your video if you want to record from your webcam you can do that as well but right now we're going to talk about recording your PC screen so click on record PC screen once you pick that up you will come up with these options here on what to record so whether or not you want to record the microphone uh, this microphone here you can pick which microphone you're using whether you've got your webcam or if you have got another microphone plugged into the USB that's what I like to use whether or not you want to have the headphones recorded basically if this is going to record any audio input that is coming into the system and we want to do that as well whether you want to do the full screen if you want to do uh, so my uh, computer the monitor is a 1366 by 768 that will match with that if you want to do a custom you can do that and then you can pick the length of the screen or the par parts of the screen that you want to record Another option if you don't want to do custom, you can do target window. So you can actually find a window that you actually want to record. So say this is this part of the window that you want to record, or if it's this whole window, you can click on the top here, or if it's just this part, or this part, or this part. You can see how it highlights different parts that you will actually record. So if you only want to record a certain part or a certain window in your screen, you can do that and you can pick the one, pick the one that it highlights. If I want to record this whole window right here, I'm going to click on the top there, and that is what it's going to focus on. So it'll change the width and the height according to what you've picked. Usually what I'm going to do is just record my full screen. So once you come in here to the settings, you can pick the directory that you want to save the video. You can pick the frame rate here. So if you want to do up to 30 frames per second is what you can do. You can pick the quality. Uh, usually we'll go with best. Uh, you can stop the recording after a certain amount of time if you want to do that. You can also set uh, whether or not you want the mouse clicks to show up in the recording, whether or not you want to play the sound of the mouse clicks, and what hotkey you want to use to end the recording. Usually I will pick escape if you deal with the function keys. You never know what you're going to deal with. Sometimes you have to hold down the function button and hit the function. Uh, so it's easier for me just to do the escape. So I like to set a directory, the frame rate, the quality. Uh, I don't usually do a timer record. I like to hit the stop key so that when I'm done, I can do that. But once you've got all of these settings ready to go, you've got your microphone so you can record yourself. You've got your headphones if you can record all the input and whether or not you want the mouse clicks. Then once you're actually done with this and you click on record, and as you can see, we do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one and boom it is actually recording everything on the screen here right now so as it's recording you just do your thing you record whatever your video gaming uh, whether you're recording a tutorial or whatever you're doing just record your screen and then when you're done with that then you use the hotkey and I'm gonna press escape right now and then I press escape and then that pops this thing up and then after I've done that I close this and I've got a new video right here that shows exactly what I recorded and then it's also saved to the folder that you set it up to save as so those are the basics of recording your screen uh, or desktop with Filmora Wondershare. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I would be happy to help. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and visit for more tutorials or gameplay and other stuff that we have here in the future. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.